All right, everyone, welcome back into another fancy golf video. Going to be touching on the round three preview here for the Sony Open, but first, just a quick recap from yesterday. So yesterday, I found myself kicking myself just literally for entering the showdown contest a little bit later than I typically would. I did not get the first wave of the contest, ended up finishing fourth. It was a very good lineup. Uh, the data was awesome yesterday in, in general for the showdown purposes, as it was in round one. If you guys played the round one sample build, you had yourself a very good slate. I want to call some of the ownerships for round one showdown, though, to show you guys pretty much the huge judge that we still have on showdown sites i don't get it like this data has been here for years and a lot of the times the top plays are going unnoticed and i'll show you guys that here in a second so you guys will see ben griffin yesterday was one of the best plays priority wise uh simply because of his pricing he was super easy to fit into your builds ended up being five percent as one of the top showdown plays yesterday that was mind blowing to me and same thing with uh akshay as well pretty low own in comparison to how good of a play he was on showdown slates and i'll show you guys how i was able to use that on some best ball drafts as well so this is one of the best ball drafts that i did and i am so mad just at the adp i had i had a decision because benny ann was a higher ranked showdown play than matt fitzpatrick but i figured i could get benny ann in the second round and i was able to do that like if i don't do that and i, I just go with someone else i probably end up taking this contest down it's super tilting there or if i just simply did a lot more drafts all in all though you guys can see ben griffin i was able to get in the last round again it's just kind of crazy that you know this data is out there but like literally all the top plays i was able to fit into this best ball draft and i only did three drafts so very good stuff there hopefully you guys know in round one as well very good as well that being said this is round three and i'll get into some props and whatnot as well here but this is round three guys it's not going to be as good we are reducing the field by half maybe not today with the cut line uh being as dramatic as it was was and hopefully you guys have a lot of six for six builds i know i do adam svensson uh with a clutch birdie birdie finish to make the cut and then joel damon with a clutch uh not birdie uh to not change the cut line so very excited about round three with the amount of players that we have but all in all it's also a limited field now let's just quickly look over the ownership and whatnot in terms of the top end of the leaderboard so benny ann who was an outright bet for us this week uh you know, was properly owned second best pick in the nine to five model clearly i'm hoping for him to win and if you look at the other plays around him um he probably should be the favorite to win right now and so like betting wise if you want to roll with that you can jaeger coming in as the fourth best pick in the nine to five mile probably should have been on him a little bit more uh all in all and probably has an hour bet but all in all he's someone that you know was low owned this week ben griffin I already mentioned him as a showdown play but yeah looking at the chalk guys a lot of the the chalk made the cut barely at the same time a lot of the chalk is not exactly playing all too well so definitely interesting there let's go and get into the showdown pick so for round three so select round we're going to get into round three uh, let's just get into the breakdown of who the best play is uh for round three and so one thing you guys are gonna have to do go to place and then we take off null and so here we go so a lot of the same plays that the data was pulling in as good picks yesterday are gonna be good picks today so akshay is still popping up there chris kerr still popping up in there um Benny Ann and that's another one guys where with that Matt Fitzpatrick build if I simply had the one pick earlier where I could have went Chris Kirk it, it wins as well I'm so tilted from yesterday there but uh, I can't complain about a good day um from there JT Poston seemingly good play there uh Andrew Putnam Corey Connors and so the thing with it is it's like we are going to be able to make some pretty good builds the question that we have is do we want to prioritize like the AM wave at all or anything like that because there were a lot of high caliber players that made the cut on the number and so you know maybe someone like brian Harmon, who had a better day yesterday maybe that's someone we should be prioritizing maybe someone like um emiliano grillo who's obviously a better player than that um terrell Hatton. like some of these players that have the amt time maybe we should be favoring them but let's go ahead and take a peek at the weather so looking at today guys we knew that today the weather would be easier only 13 mile power winds right now we look at the hourly forecast it does seem to be in the morning you know the few players that have the earliest tea times those are going to be the ones in which we probably should be targeting just because it's it's going to be very minimal at the same time the wind that we're seeing is not going to be anything too significant so maybe maybe we prioritize the earlier players like maybe jt poston is someone we could be looking at although very late start time uh let's see here anyone else maybe brendan todd russell henley like if we wanted to do an earlier lineup only you definitely could at the same time i don't think that's needed because there's not as significant of an advantage now i do always find the regression rank to be really fun to look at like which players are most likely to play better in round three and it makes perfect sense you got Corey connors adam svensson eric cole danny mccarthy seamus power uh brian Harmon hideck i mean that makes perfect sense so this is something that may 
maybe more on lower scoring weeks I like to look at. Basically, you're saying that these guys have the greatest ability to go low because chances are they're gonna you know if round one was up here on a graph round well it'd be round two in this example but let's say round two and round one were like here and here on a graph round three would definitely be lower scoring most likely so i don't mind looking at it that way and then another way you can look at it here um would just be by going by projected fantasy points on the day so like chris kirk would be priority number one post and benny ann uh Bakhtia, Corey connors uh harman siwu eric colt svensson Luke List, that's surprising. And then so that's another way you guys can go about using this. So I feel like you have a good idea of who are the top showdown plays. And then lastly, I do just want to show you guys win rank because maybe we can find an edge here. So right now, these are the players that are most likely to win. And so if we go to the betting page, we can see outright bets that we might want to be on uh, because of that numbers, those numbers that we are getting. So let's go to bet type, outright. We're going to sort by average odds. And so Benny Ann is number one, then Chris Kirk. So not really a big edge there. I would say slightly with Jaeger. You, you could be gaining a slight edge. I know most people don't have Bovada, but if you want to bet uh, 21 Bovada, that seems like a very good edge by Jaeger for Jaeger. Uh, bet MGM as well. 18-1 feels like a pretty good edge. Personally, I do like Harris English. Um, that seems a little bit too low. The data doesn't really like Ben Griffin to win. I I don't know. Like, he has been trending in the right direction. This does seem to be a good event for him to win. Uh, same thing with Andrew Putnam. Like, he is someone that you look at the course and the players that play well at this type of event. Andrew Putnam's right up there. And so like Akshay playing well as well, not surprising. So I do think we have some slight edges to gain there. Um, if you guys like any of those, by all means, go for it. So when you guys the round three ball or, or the three ball bets as well, um, a lot of decent ones. Again, like this has been pretty successful thus far this week. Hopefully you guys have been able to take advantage of that. But now let's go ahead and show you guys the prop bets. So I do want to start out with just the normal props chart here. So let's just take a peek at it right now. It really likes Akshay to get over 4.5 birdies, Chris Kirk to get over 4.5 birdies, and then Benny Ann to get over 4.5 birdies as well. Those are the ones that are popping up the most that give us the biggest percent edge. Now, I would probably want to be targeting all of them a little bit. Like those were all the best plays on the showdown sheet. So all in all, the chances of those, if they are going to be good showdown plays, they are going to make some birdies. At the same time, they it does feel a little bit thin. Like, I don't know. I don't want to be targeting a player to make five birdies. That, that to me is not as appealing i think i want to go strokes props just because we are more betting on the course there all in all i don't mind these ones though like i will be running them out in a slip um but i don't want to like recommend it necessarily to you guys because i personally don't have as much faith in those as i typically would want when i give those out as a prop bet and so a good sign though for some of the birdie or better props that we are getting again when we look at here we can kind of compare the two is going to be seeing the ones that are at like five so like brian Harmon for over his birdie or betters underdog is valuing this as five uh same thing with king and bradley like they're valuing it as five so all in all that's a slight edge and again you guys could choose to use this for showdown purposes all in all i don't think that's the best route to go uh, but here's another example guys so like justin rose for under 68 for his scoring that's a slight edge that we have because underdog is valuing it at 67 Point five. Same thing with Terrell Hatton here. Like we are getting some slight edges here on some players that are projected to be pretty good plays today. So all in all, that is something that you guys can take advantage of. So let's see if we have any other prop line differences at all. JT post and strokes here, guys. So under on prize picks over on underdog, like that is a pretty big edge there. So let's go ahead and make some prop bets. All right, so guys, we're going to be getting to the bet of the day here shortly. I want to show you guys this sheet just so you guys can make the best prop bets available for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and use this one here. Uh, with the by the day on the underdog and so right now you guys will be able to see kind of a theme here so obviously jt posting higher i'm gonna bet the under on prize picks uh keegan bradley here so the chances of him getting six birdies i would say are pretty low especially when prize picks has a set at 4.5 especially when the data is telling us the under is probably the way to go at 4.5 so all in all this does seem to be too high uh but chances are it could be a push so i did want to include another prop bet and that's where i got to the nhl prop bet projection data likes him to get two um you know minus 140 currently good prop bet and then so sticking with that theme guys so like jt poston less strokes my two favorite and i did run out this slip specifically is this one right here guys uh, data wise this is one of the best prop bets that we're going to get on the day as well as this one so these two are two i'm running out brian Harmon, more birdie or better again he's being valued at five on uh underdog i like this a little bit better than keegan bradley to get to five if you guys want to run out keegan bradley you can and then i fat fingered this some this is more this is more i need to go re-enter this more just like who was on underdog apologies there but that's gonna be all for today's video guys thanks for watching please make sure to like, give a like and subscribe hit that notification bell as well if you guys want to access to any of the nine to five sports tools that you saw in this video available for just ten dollars a month i'm going to go ahead and run out the lineup optimizers and do some best ball drafts good luck today uh and as always let's keep cashing